Some will say Warragamba Dam is half full. The state government says it's half empty. Let's talk about water. Water restrictions are coming. They're coming to, uh, to Sydney. The reason, well, as I showed you at the start of the show, Warragamba Dam, just 12 months ago, the numbers were pretty impressive about where it was. Now, uh, well, it's in a world of pain. We need to show the people of Sydney that this is a real threat. Warragamba Dam is the country's largest water supply, providing 80% of the water for a city of more than 5 million people. We've had some you know, reasonable coastal rain over the last month uh, in Sydney but has had no impact on the catchment. Our state is under pressure, city Basically, and country. Basically, with the lack of rain, uh, with the lowest inflows into Sydney's water storages since 1940, the government's come to a decision that uh, it is best to go into water restrictions at level one from June one. Behind its walls, a precious resource, one that's running out fast. Again, Jack. 27 minutes is time. That's 1,620 seconds, and if you times that by a thousand, that's 1,620,000 seconds, milliseconds to be exact. Thanks, Mum, but I like to sleep in on the holidays. Jack, check this out. Look what I saw on YouTube while you were busy being late. What is it? This guy built a gravity cart in his own shed. He took it down a hill and he reached over a hundred kilometers an hour. What's a gravity cart? It's basically a cart with no engine. You know, it uses gravity to speed down a hill. So a billy cart? No, it's a gravity cart. We could totally do that. What? No way! Yeah, we could. There's got to be enough junk around here that we can build one. Yeah, but is there a hill big enough around here that we could get some real speed? You know what's thinking straight? Warragamba's only got the biggest hill around here. Oh yeah, Baines Hill. Baines Hill, isn't that gonna be, you know, just, just a, a little dangerous, don't you think? Yeah, well if we're gonna go through the effort of building a full-on gravity cart, then I'm gonna fully send it. Okay, well, do you want to go and find some stuff then? Sure. Look at that piece of metal. Which one? The one up against the fence. We could easily use that. What? That looks way too big and heavy to use for a gravity cart. Where does that belong on a gravity cart anyway? We can use it as like a backbone in the middle and then have welded pieces going off to the wheels like an X shape. What? Are you for real? That's going to handle like an old Chevy Impala. First of all, what's a Chevy Impala? And second of all, 
How would you know? You've never driven one. Look, it says it right here. 1959's Chevy Impala's X-Frame made for one of the worst handling cars of all time. Well, I'm going to go get it. Oh, I don't know, Jack. That's not ours. I mean, it looks like it's in somebody's front yard. Oh, I'm going. I'm going to get it. Jack! Oh. What are you doing in our yard taking our bit of steel? Uh, uh, we're making a gravity cart. What's a gravity cart? Um, it's basically a cart with no engine. You know, like it uses gravity to speed down a hill. So you mean a billy cart? Uh, uh, Where does this bit of steel fit into a gravity cart? So we're using it as like the middle backbone and then we're going to have pieces of metal going off as the wheels, like an X-shape, kind of. Huh, <laughs> it's going to handle like an old Chevy Impala. That's what I said! How would you know? Have you ever driven one? That's what I just said! This bit of steel doesn't belong on a gravity cart or a billy cart. Okay? Do you have any other piece of steel or metal that might be more suitable? And maybe you can help us build it? Why should I help you when not five minutes ago you were trying to steal from us? This is the men's shed. Okay? Where's... All right, maybe we can figure something out. If you can name me at least five qualities that a man should have, maybe I'll help you. Uh, hard working. Uh, reliable. Um, honest. Pays off his debt. Uh, uh, responsible for his actions. And most importantly of all, he doesn't steal. Well, if a man always pays his debt, we won't exactly be able to pay you. When a man does a favour for another man, the favour is usually repaid by some beer. And since you're too young to buy a beer, I'll settle for a packet of chocolate biscuits. Yeah, yeah, we can do that. Yeah. All right, I'll help you.
you so much about building things? Well, back in the day, I used to be a race car builder. So I'm pretty good at making things a bit lighter so they'll go faster. Okay, boys, I think that's enough for day one. Oh man, it takes so long to build things like this. We've been here all day and it looks like we've done hardly anything. Well, it takes a long time to, to build a race car and it takes even longer to develop it. You can come back tomorrow and don't forget those biscuits. pretty excited too because it reminds me when I was younger. It reminds me of a movie I was what used to watch when I was a young fella. It was a racing car movie and it had Elvis Presley in it and he had this really hot looking co-star in it. I just can't think of his name. Uh, the movie was called Speedway from June 1968. It had Elvis Presley and Nancy Sinatra in it. Gee, what happened to the good old days when I don't know would have been a perfectly acceptable answer? Today. Oh, thanks. How come you got it all covered up? I did some special work on the gravity cart last night. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> cool. Whoa! Whoa! You put a motor on it? Not exactly. I built this replica motor from some parts that I had around the shed, but it's a zero emissions model. boys gonna do with this thing anyway? Oh, we were just gonna go down and put, um, we were just gonna take it down the very gentle slope outside my house. Yeah. Liz, can we go outside and test it? Yeah, let's go.
got eggs on it and all that stuff. It's pretty good. When I was about, about 15, we said. Well, thanks for your help, Les. It's been a really, really awesome week. Yeah. I'll remember this for a really, really long time. It's been a pleasure. It's been really good for me as well. Yeah, thanks for your help, Les. We wouldn't have been able to do it without you. It's been a real pleasure. I've enjoyed it. Sydney is in for a wild weekend. Penrith could be hit by as much as 270 millimetres of rain as our state is soaked by some of the heaviest falls in years. Sydney is being drenched by the heaviest rain we've seen in nearly five years. Flooding roads, closing beaches and causing major disruptions on our transport network. But today was merely a warning shot. The forecast for tomorrow is staggering. Up to 200 millimetres to fall on the city and as much as 250 millimetres around Penrith. Are you sure this is safe? Well, it ain't getting any safer. Come on, Jacob, let's go. I'm not so sure about this. Les only put one seat on because we didn't tell him that we were going down Baines Hill. Well, I mean, you're just gonna have to hop on the back and hold on tight. for the first time in four years. It's a huge turnaround from early February when the dam dropped to just 42%. Sydney's water supply is at its highest level since 2016, with Warragamba Dam filled to tipping point. Full to the brim. That's the unbelievable sight at some of Sydney's dams after our recent downpours. 